Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. Today, we are going high tech. You know, computers are just as much a part of the home as a refrigerator. So today, we'll explore some new applications and help accessorize your digital lifestyle. Exactly. We're going to take a look at the household computer, extend the capabilities of the cell phone, and even get some advice on a home entertainment system. And let's not forget the paperless office. That's right. Go digital and save a tree. I like that. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. I love this. We're on a high-tech roll today. Let's keep it going. Okay. Well, the current generation of cell phones are pretty much computers that link you to the Internet. So wouldn't it be great if your cell phone had a large screen and a keyboard? Your request has been granted. Designing Space's own genie, Rhonda Castagna, has some technology that will perform all the magic that you need. Watch right. this. Like so many of us, John is connected to the world through a smartphone. Frequently on the move, it is imperative to send emails and information to business associates quickly. I'll be meeting with them in a few minutes, so if you could send them right now, this would be the perfect time. Never before has the term time is money applied so well. And for John, working in a down economy and in a competitive field, it is imperative. What John is using with his smartphone is not a computer, but a device called Redfly, a larger screen monitor and keyboard that can extend the usability of the phone allowing him to talk business while checking out a website or an email attachment. Designing Spaces is always interested in the latest technology to help make our lifestyles easier and more efficient. And there's so much that can be done with a computer that sits in your pocket, the smartphone. However, there are limitations when it comes to the ergonomics of the phone. So joining us today is Nicole Buchanan from Celio Corporation, who's going to show us how the red fly can improve the ergonomics of the smartphone. Welcome, Nicole, to Designing Spaces. Thanks, Rhonda. Thanks for having me. So this is pretty slick, I have to say. It is. It's really an interesting and compelling product that addresses a growing need in the smartphone segment of users. So with everyone moving to smartphones, how will they use their smartphones in the future? As smartphones become more and more powerful, um, Celia Court believes that the smartphone will become the mobile computing platform mm -hmm. standard. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Now, what is the difference between the Red Fly and, say, a laptop or a netbook? It looks like a laptop, but it's really it's very different than a laptop or a netbook. It, it has no operating system, no CPU, um, and therefore that means no data storage on the device. So if someone w were to lose their device, they would have no risk of losing any of their data. It also allows you to really leverage tools that you're already paying for, like your smartphone, mm -hmm. with the smartphone's wireless data plan. Um, there's no need for a, a, an additional wireless data plan with the Red Fly as you would with a laptop or a netbook. Mm -hmm. um, so that allows you some cost savings. And in, in addition to that, um, the Red Fly technology is about resolution and resolution change. And so with the mobile companion, what that translates to is being able to see six to eight times more of your data or of the data that you would see on a smartphone screen. Well, I'm really interested to see how this product works. Yeah, absolutely. Let me show you. Okay. So here I have actually an Excel spreadsheet on my device. And if you notice, you're able to actually see three columns of that spreadsheet. What I'm actually going to show you now is how that the, how the, the same spreadsheet looks on a Redfly Mobile Companion okay. and how easy it is to actually boot the Redfly Mobile Companion up and actually get connected. Mm -hmm. And then you simply connect the device via Bluetooth to the Redfly Mobile Companion. No boot up time. Mm -hmm. And this is basically what the same spreadsheet looks like on the Redfly Mobile Companion. Notice you're now able to see eight columns versus three on the device. Wow, I love that. It's so easy, no more scrolling. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it makes it a whole lot easier and convenient to manipulate a spreadsheet mm -hmm. um, via the Mobile Companion than on the device. Mm -hmm. Well, that was easy. How is it powered? So just like your smartphone, it has a battery that you can charge. Mm -hmm. um, and then it delivers about eight hours of battery work time. 
and it has a really interesting smart feature that allows you to actually connect your smartphone via the USB cable to the Red Fly, mm -hmm. um, and then it actually charges your smartphone while you work. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. So what kind of functions does it perform? It unleashes the power of your smartphone, whether mm -hmm. your smartphone is a Windows mobile device, a BlackBerry device, or an Android device. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can blog on the go, you can interact with your Facebook friends, you can actually surf the web, mm -hmm. um, and with our C8N model, you can actually connect the Redfly device to a projector via the VGA port okay. and deliver sales presentations. Wow, so it sounds like it would be great for doing any kind of work presentation or even for just showing off videos of your family. Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell me about this media port? Sure, we have two models, a C7 model uh, that's about one and a half pounds and has a seven inch screen, and then we have a C8N model that's about two pounds, has an eight inch screen and the media port. And the media port allows you to view digital video content that's formatted for NTSC and PAL from an external source, such as an iPod, a Zoom, or a digital camera. Well, I love that it's so small and you can just take it with you when you're on the go or traveling, but can you use it on an airplane? Absolutely. You just need to put your smartphone into flight mode. Mm -hmm. So turn off the wireless radio, turn off Bluetooth, and then you connect the smartphone to the Red Fly via the USB cable mm -hmm. and you're able to work. This is such a great product. How can our viewers get more information on this product? Sure, they can visit our website at GetRedFly.com to learn more about the Redfly technology, and there'll be a list of retail partners there as well. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on Designing Spaces. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. It's been a pleasure. With a price structure under $300, Redfly Mobile Companion fills a gap that offers a low-cost option to a laptop or netbook, yet allows the user to continue to use the wireless data plan they already have with their smartphone. There's no need to subscribe to some type of additional wireless connectivity plan that could cost up to $60 a month. Working and communicating cost effectively and quickly is part of the key to success in today's tight business environment. Let's see a look. Come and look at these pictures I took of the uh, farmhouse while I was in Virginia. Wow, can we make it any bigger? Yeah. Wow, it's so big. Are we going to get it? Yeah, your mom seems to like it, so the answer's probably going to be yes. Awesome, I can't wait to live there. Yeah, look at these pictures. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. So what do you think of your new red fly? I love it. All my friends are going to be so jealous. <laughs> they are. I told you, it really makes your smartphone even smarter. <laughs> I'm Rhonda Castagna with Designing Spaces. Thanks for joining us on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.